stop dreaming. What's up guys, Fury TV here, and we are back with another episode of Poker Hands. Today, we're going to be taking a look over some of the craziest poker four-of-a-kind hands from Party Poker Live events. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos on a daily basis. Ace queen for Richard, who has seen ace king, ace jack, and ace queen in early action. You see. On the top left corner of your screen, we've already lost five players today. Francisco attends, just calls in the hijack. Manu with the 9 5 of diamonds in the big blind. Going to fold, but he is still the best. Ace four deuce with two diamonds. Richard will lead here with the ace for 500k. Francisco won't go away quite yet, makes the call. And spikes a 10 on the turn. It's a troublesome board for Richard Dobini and oh, his ace queen. Is, yeah, this is devastating for Dobini as the under the gun opener. Three million in this pot. Immediately now on the bluff catch is Dubini. Has the Queen of Diamonds in his hand, so we can rule out obviously, you know, a hand like Queen Jack of Diamonds, King Queen of Diamonds, it would have some sort of Broadway flush draw combo. certainly has to bet deny equity from those sorts of hands that we're worried about. And he is going to. Targeting ASEX as well. That's 800K. check calls 3.9 million now in the pot oh my gosh quad tens for Francisco and again Dubini likely now just going to bluff catch ace queen check call whatever Francisco decides to do a little concern about the 10x Diamond combo that could sure. be there, right? Jack, 10 of diamonds. Nine, 10 of diamonds. Might be the only two hands that he would consider being in the pot with. But again, I don't even know if I would include nine, 10 of diamonds, considering that Dubini opened under the gun. Francisco may have just elected to, to muck that hand pre. Richard has checked. It's on Francisco. How much does he go for here? 3.9 million in the middle. He has 4 million behind. Dubini really concerned about, honestly, Jeff, not much. I mean, yeah. I think we, we, we were never up against pocket fours or pocket twos here. In Dubini's mind, he is going to call and try and pick off a bluff. He's essentially now just ruled out 
quad tens. How unlikely is that? Might be worried about jack ten of diamonds, and that is it. There it is, snap call. A snap call on the 1.4 million chip bet. He'll see all four tens. Just quads? From Francisco okay. Benitez. Wow. That's so sad. No. Here comes Ace King Jack with one heart. Yeah, a little love for everyone. Bonomo as the three better from the small blind. This favors him more than it does Makita. But I don't think Makita's one and done here. Favors him both in theory and actuality. So flops top pair with his gut shot. Makita flops middle <laughs> pair with his gut shot and back for flush draw. It's Bonomo leading for 60K. Keeping up that significant sizing. So he chooses not to down bet. Yeah, this is where it gets real hairy for Makita. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're getting a nice price, but my goodness, look at the size of this pot already that's been created by Bonomo. If we turn a heart, we have to be prepared to face another large shell on the turn. Is there a world in which it could go call here? perhaps pick up a, an additional equity and Bonomo could consider checking. Are we afraid of Makita having two pair already? Oh my goodness. Oh wow, the ace of hearts comes on the turn, trips for Bonomo, the royal flush draw for Makita Banziakuski. Oh, what a turn card. Yeah, and this is really brutal now for Makita because it's less likely that Bonomo has an ace. In his mind, he. He's, again, way ahead, way behind, and clearly has a little bit of equity. Bonomo likely to bet another street here on the turn, and it is fat, 145,000, Jeff. This is brutal for Makita, the milkman, just being squeezed. He's setting up to be a massive hand. And remember, earlier in the day, Makita Badziakuski in a big pot against Kathy Laney had to use all of his time banks. So he has no time banks behind. Oh he goodness. has 30 seconds to act That's on right. each street or else his hand is dead. I may see one there in front of him. I yeah, can't tell. I think those are just his oh cards. Dear. Quads. Quads. Quads for Justin Bonomo. This is just filthy. Makita now so handcuffed, so trapped. If he already didn't give Bonomo credit for an ace on the turn a lot of the time, now it's extremely <laughs> unlikely on uh, this sort of run out, the way this hand is played, and I think we could see a damn near million chip pot. 125. Bonomo elects to go small here. Makita, only 30 seconds to act. Yeah, and I just think Makita now inclined to just call. It saves right. him. I thought Bonomo might pile. Boy, if he folds. 10 this. seconds to act. I will lose my mind. Yeah, he does make the call. He'll see the quads. It's the wow. brutal run out for Makita. And Justin Bonomo is the first player at Super High Roller Bowl Bahamas to eclipse the one million chip mark. Million chips. And there is our chip leader, Tom Vogelsang, looking for the biggest score of his poker career. Let him kill Zeng raises an early position. Good luck, bigger stack. Sevens. <laughs> Always. Bogusang calls in the hijack with the sixes. Bicknell calls in the big blind with the ace deuce. <laughs> oh, the flop comes ace, ace, seven. 
trips for Bicknell, but a full house for Michael Zhang. And the good luck bigger stack holds here. Yeah. Zhang is going to fire here. Bicknell just calls. Oh and my God! Quads. <laughs> Tough for Chris to get any more chips. <laughs> right, though, right. Really, he's like, okay, I have most of the sevens. <laughs> he will pet what small. does she have? One hundred seventy-five k. She comes in for the raise now with the quads. And check raising quads may seem a bit strange, but she's out of position and she's going to have a hard time getting any more money in on the river. Figure she'd try to get some here. Pretty quick fold from Zhang. <laughs> Dimitri with ace king raises it up. Sergio has yet to enter a pot today. And that trend will continue here. Came into the day with 41,000. He has blinded himself down, folded himself down to 26 million, and he has also printed money in doing mm -hmm. such, Jeff. At least a $50,000 jump for him so far. I believe he's the only player that hasn't played a pot. For sure. Everyone else has yeah. been involved. Sergio has yet to play a hand. That is, that's hard to do. Uh-oh. Daniel with nines. And with a call from Fabian in the small blind, I think Daniel's probably going to squeeze here. We may see the biggest coin flip of the final table right now. I don't think he flats. If he does, I'll, I'd be shocked. Nines is probably at the bottom for having to three bet and commit. All in. All in. There it is. It's all of it. My goodness. Oh my. Here we go. You can see one king dead for Urbanovic. We can assume he's going to go with ace king here. Sorry. I didn't draw it. I just thought like he was stopping the clock and then restarting. Dimitri go from short stack to chip leader, or at least close to it, in less than two hours. Could Daniel go from chip leader to short stack in the same amount of time? Find out in just minutes. Does make the call. And what a flip we have here. Dimitri with Ace King. He is the one all in and at risk. We're just flipping for hundreds of thousands of dollars in equity right here, Jeff. Here we go. With I'm nines. nervous. Certainly a nerve wracking moment for everybody involved. Nine in the window. Oh quad. my Quad for Daniel Rezai. Quad nines on the flop. That'll turn things around. Good game, man. And Dmitry Urbanovic, the party poker team pro, on the verge of a nine, magical nine. spin up. My nine, German virgins. <laughs> but is eliminated oh God, in seven. Scheiße. He'll take home $130,000. Wow, it's supposed to fold in it, but... Wow, Julio finds a four on the turn. Fabian checks it. Two Julio bets, 135.
mean, what sort of hands? I mean, it's it's a little odd to have a lead range in a three-way pot on this board, isn't it? So does it make it a little difficult to try and give someone a range that peels and then bets this turn? Or I mean, we can see, obviously, a, a four's in there, but he doesn't have many fours, does he? No. Oh, my. <laughs> Quads on the river for Julio. Fabian, I, I guess, just worried about bigger overpairs at this stage, right? Yeah, he's going to do his throw air. Going to do his throw. Fabian's first hand at the table. Just counting how much he wants to win. He's going for <laughs> near pot, I think. 500 in there. 575, the bet going over pot. Have some of that. <laughs> I mean, what bluffs does Julio have here, Midi? Don't know, I've not run this sim. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can have ace five, right? Ace five suited with a back door on the flop. Also, to be fair, you should probably should be flowing with like, quite a lot of nonsense. You know, like even like king, queen of hearts stuff, maybe. All right. I would have thought. What was the size like on the flop? Uh, I think it's slightly over. Oh no, it's slightly less than half, wasn't it? it let out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Fabian's kind of made this. I feel like he's made it a little bit difficult for himself, having led the flop. Yeah, this is the problem, isn't it? Like, it's better to be bluffing here than to actually have a hand. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because you just go bet, bet, bet on this run out. Yeah. And the other guy is a bit of a coffin. But here you're like, uh. Oh. Full house though, Midian, isn't it? It's hard to fold full houses in Texas Hold'em. Yeah, what's, I forget that uh, theory or whatever. No one folds a full house. No one folds a good hand. Torturing him, no shot clock, of course, here on day one of the Millions in the main event. And he's going to... Oh! oh he pulled That's a hard fold. I like that fold there from Fabian. He's done well. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for the best poker videos on YouTube. Make sure to also check out our previous video if you missed it, and let us know in the comments below what you would like to see on the next Fury TV.